Hi everybody, this is going to be a little bit of a different video than you're used to. If you normally watch my channel, I do a lot of stuff for bikini competitions um, because I competed in PC and then I switched to, um, and I got a pro card in the um, WMBF. So that's what most of my videos are on. But this time I'm going to do one on getting ready for a figure skating competition. I am a figure skating coach, which a lot of you know, but I also compete master's level uh, figure skating as an adult. I'm headed to the ISU International Adult Competition in Lake Placid. I leave a week from today, so next Sunday. Um, it's gonna be super exciting. It's at the old Olympic Arena. Um, it's basically just preparation for the Masters Games, which is like the over 28 crowd Olympics in Austria in um, January. So we're just going to do the whole thing and get the scores and see where we'll fall when we get to uh, Austria. If you say if you hear we, it's because I do pair skating. I also do single skating. So you'll kind of get to see the difference between a pair skater and a single skater. I don't ice dance, so sorry, I can't give you the inside edge on the ice dance or the synchro. But I will with the pairs and the singles. I have four events. Um, there's an artistic, which is basically like a short program. It's a shorter routine and they tell you what you have to do. Um, but it's just scored on components. And I'll explain the judging system a little bit more to you um, in the videos throughout this week. I'm gonna do a video each day this week and just kind of get you prepared for what's to happen. Um, I'm gonna go show you my dresses now so you can- All right, here is my free skate dress. So it's extra super sparkly. It's sort of on the see-through side, but when you're wearing it, you can't tell because all the stones. So it has stones, and these ones are like a dollar something a piece. They are ridiculous. And then all through up there, I did get some lipstick on it. Oh no. This dress I have worn before. The program, and these kind of open when you're wearing it. The program is to uh, Chandelier from Sia. Um, and I'm in Masters Level 1 Free Skate. Um, and so I'll perform that on the last night. So I perform this one on Saturday evening. Then, this is my artistic dress. All right, so it's got little stones up here. It's uh, black and white, basically, sort of see-through too. This one I do wear an undergarment under though, and just open in the back. It's got like a little bow. It's for Send in the Clowns. This is replacing my um, Lady Gaga program, which was very, very good, and I'm worried um, about this because this is normally my really good performance. So hopefully this Send in the Clowns works. <laughs> All right, so those are my singles, and I'm in Masters 1 also for that. And then this is my Paris dress, um, our free skate dress. It's got a little bit longer skirt, um, which has been a little awkward, but mainly just because the waistline is longer, so it kind of flips around. And this gets tight once the dress is on. And then here's the back. So it's it's really low in the back, stones, and open, very open in the back. And it's really structured here, so we don't have to worry about any malfunctions, because in pair skating, that tends to happen. Let me get my artistic dress. Here's my Paris artistic dress. It's got a belt that's all stones. And this is it for their back. And then it's, this is all stones. The bottom doesn't really have any stones. Um, but we were skating to um, the Suicide Squad, obviously. <laughs> if you haven't seen it before, you'll get it once you see it. These look a heck of a lot better on. And this one has a lot more accessories. Oh, I didn't say for our Pairs Technical Program. So this one, we're skating to Guns N' Roses November Rain. So I'm skating to November Rain, Send in the Clowns, Sia's Chandelier, and bits and pieces of music from the Suicide Squad. So those are my four costumes. And believe me, this is a ton of work. I think I'm the only one that does this many events at ISU competitions because it's really hard to do two disciplines. But I'm super excited. I love all my costumes. It's been a lot. I spent so much on this one. Like, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, you think bikini competition costumes are expensive? Woo! This one's a little expensive because I had her add this belt. I was just going to wear, like, a belt you get at the store, but I had her make it. It looks so good on. I have a lot of accessories that go with this one, and my hair is going to be colored. 
Um, I'm doing a lot of clowny sort of things this year, I guess. I don't know. So we will see how it um, all goes. Okay, I wanted to do this vlog because a lot of people had asked me. They um, know I'm a figure skater too and they see my videos, but I never really explain what goes into it. Um, I wish I would have started earlier when we were making the costumes and things like that. I'll give you a, what I do is I... I have a lady that I work with and I basically kind of sketch something out for her and she makes it. She makes some adjustments based on my body and things like that. Because sometimes you see something online and you're like, ooh, that really look good and it just doesn't. So she had to adjust the black one a little bit because it was a little bit too low and things like that. But overall, I kind of design it and she makes it. She does a wonderful job. She has ballroom dance and dresses. She's a little pricey but not nearly as much as some of the... Um, one the designers you see on TV she's famous for ballroom dancing but she hasn't really made her mark in figure skating so I can get a little bit of a deal all my students use her too she's great um, if you live in like the Western Washington Oregon or in the Pacific Northwest let me know because I can get your information she's really good designer very very good the only dress that was not designed by her and made by her was the clown one I'm borrowing that from a student that's also part of the reason I picked send in the clowns because this was getting really expensive and she had a dress that fit me so I decided you know what I can pull that off and so we'll see we'll see how it goes Groups aren't huge like they're going to be at the Masters Games. I think I have like eight in my singles event, quite small for my level um, at this competition. Um, I am in the highest level for adult. There is a Masters Elite that you can sign up for if you went to the Olympics or Worlds or something, but it's the same level that I'm in. It's just for people um, that have won national competitions as an amateur most everybody in my level skated as a kid there is divisions for adults that like all the way up so there's lower divisions as well um it's a really fun event i'm staying with four ladies in an airbnb um, my skating partner got an airbnb with another guy that's a pair skater that's from up here um so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an exciting event um, I, I hope this helps some of the adults or just skaters in general that are going away to a long distance competition on how to get ready. Um, it's quite similar to the fitness competitions except for the food's a little different. Um, right now my training is I'm a skating director and so most of my work now is more administrative. I do coach still. Um, but I'm working that full time and then I coach probably about 20 hours a week and then, um, we just got done with regionals. I had a bunch of injuries, so it wasn't a very successful regionals for me um, this year. And the transition between the two rinks uh, made it a little difficult. Um, so everything's going great on that end, but the the it was a, it took me a while to get my practice back in. But now I'm practicing um, five days a week. This this week I got six in because I went to another rink um, after I was done teaching. So I usually teach about three hours a day and then I'll skate another two to three hours myself. I train a lot more than the average um, adult skater, but I also get to skate more often because my job is skating. So that's helpful. Um, and I have a partner that really is committed and loves to skate. And so he kind of pushes me to skate more. Um, but with that being said, I'm gonna do a lot better in my pairs than my singles. I'll just tell you that now. My singles are just kind of to fill in. Um, but I really do want to do well in the artistic because I have won the artistic before and I'm hoping that my son in the clowns is okay. Um, I gotta share you with this, sh this shirt. It's a hockey player, uh, goalie Jesus. My friend gave it to me for Christmas. Um, so there's no football today though. Um, Seahawks played Thursday, pretty good game, very entertaining. So I'm just, uh, getting a bunch of work done and starting to pack my stuff up. Um, let me show you this new bag that I got to travel oh, with. just came in the mail from Amazon. It's got a pocket in the front here. It wasn't that expensive either, which is what I really like about it. But it has zippers on the side. Really easy to zip. But look, it's like a bag on the inside. So you can still put all your stuff when it's zip zipped up. And then it opens. Voila! It's got a pocket here that closes and opens. And fit your toiletries maybe a little bit because it's riding on the plane so remember nothing bigger than three ounces but this will hold my competition dresses it zips around here and it has I already have hangers in there but has a loop to hold your hangers so then basically you just zip up your dresses snap it here close it zip it and once you zip it back up it's a bag it is so freaking convenient I'm not sure why I haven't had one of these for years. 
So all those dresses will be going in here. And then that way, I don't have to worry about losing my dresses when I'm on the plane. Because if my luggage doesn't make it, my skates go with me too. I'm flying through Canada. Canada's pretty accepting of skates on the plane. Skates can go on planes in the USA and Canada. Um, sometimes they'll stop you and look through your bag a little bit more, but they can. Now, some countries don't. I had a problem in Switzerland. I had to check my bag and it was a big old mess. Um, so check that before you fly, what plane or what countries allow them with you on the plane. I always put my dresses, obviously my new bag in there because I don't want to lose my dresses. I put one practice outfit too um, in there just in case. But skates are probably your number one most important thing. You can skate in black pants and if you're good, you'll still be able to be good and win. But you need your skates, so check before you travel internationally. France, I've heard, has been kind of butts about it too, but I didn't have a problem in France. I carried them right through, no problem. But Switzerland, big problem. So check. If you're going through Canada, Canada is like, bring more. They love the ice sports, but make sure you check on that. All right, I hope that this video is gonna help future adult figure skaters that want to um, enjoy this exciting competition. I hope I can get some footage of how much fun everyone has. Everyone is so supportive. It's such a great experience. Um, the U.S. figure skating competition is a little less supportive. It's a little more competitive. These are, these are really fun and you get, it's like a reunion. So, um, so today was just kind of an overview. You got to see my dresses, got to see my new bag. I'm gonna explain scoring. I'm gonna explain a bunch of other things so you're not shocked at all when you get there, all right? And then maybe some plane travel trip stuff too. Um, I'll be flying my skating partner but we're not sitting together. So I'm not exactly sure how much time I'm gonna really wanna film being a weirdo on a plane, but we'll see. Okay, bye.